Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It is my honor to present this uh, topic, the third keynote paper today. As you can see on the screen, there's a spinning logo. This logo symbolizes the human-robot collaboration, digital twin, cyber-physical systems. In today's world, we need to work together, both in the digital world and in the physical world. Even our audience today, we have a physical audience and a virtual audience. This will be the norm for the future. That topic is also the focus of uh, our research activities. About uh, KTH, KTH is uh, located in Sweden, in the capital city of uh, Stockholm, just for your information. So today, I wanted to take this opportunity to share three parts of this uh, keynote, from the past to present, and all the way to the future. And the first part I wanted to share with you is the history of uh, manufacturing as well as the AI. Second part, present, I wanted to share with you two real-world research activities through demonstration. We have a remote monitoring and control we also have a human-robot collaboration. Finally, I wanted to share with you some future research directions. Let's uh, look at the past. Manufacturing history is not that long. This chart shows the evolution of manufacturing, horizontal axis, is the product variety. Vertical axis is the product volume. The black line in the center is evolution of manufacturing paradigms over time. Initially in the pink area, manufacturing started in 1850. That's the craft production. If you have a wish as a customer, you approach to a craftsman or craftswoman, to express your desire, and the individual expert will produce the item for you. Later on, this uh, variety of a product has been decreased. However, the volume has been increased. In 1913, the manufacturing entered into mass production paradigm. This is uh, mainly contributed by Ford 